Hello there everyone, this is Nego Knight here, getting ready to play Craftopia. Woohoo! Alright, so today I'm gonna show you where to find certain animals and creatures, and I wish it wasn't this time. Uh so wow. Uh if you uh enjoy this and all that, make sure to subscribe. If not, well I understand. Anyways, for those of you who are wondering where the hell do you find the alligator, uh, well, turtles? These guys, uh, the biting alligator turtle. If you're wondering where the hell to find them, you see this island here? Actually, let's zoom out so you guys can see exactly. So with this area, with the, the Oriental or Awatusu Archipelago, if you come and follow along here all the way to here or go from here to here to this island you will find three quests on this island the first one is these guys this is where you can come along and shoot uh these guys and get complete that you just gotta find 10 of them and run around here now, if you're looking for the lonesome turtles and you can't find them, and you've come across some other turtles that uh, say something else, there's a translation error or a translation issue. Let me find out where the hell they're at, and I'll, I'll show you as soon as I grab all of these. So, for the alligators, you simply find them on this side of the water here, uh, on the beach here. You just run up and down that. Now, for the other things, if you remember in a previous episode, I show you where the relic is. That's the island you're looking for. Now, up around here, or actually, yeah, here, these guys. You see these four lone giant turtles? You might be thinking, that's not the turtle I'm looking for. Well, it turns out it is. Here. Oh, I missed. See, lonesome giant tur tortoise above level one. That's the turtle you're looking for. Some people uh, would, uh, like me at first, I was like, where the hell are they at? And eventually I decided, you know what? I'm gonna kill this turtle. I'm tired of looking and I'm just gonna take it out on this turtle. I, f I feel bad for it, but I was just getting fed up. Oh. They do have insane defense when they turtle, but otherwise, if you shoot them in the head, you're pretty good on taking them out. Now, now that I've shown you where to find the turtles, there's one, there's one more quest here. I'm going to have to finish up these uh, in a little bit, but there's one more quest that you can do here. It's on this side of the island towards, you know, ooh, Ow. You know this side of the island when I showed you how to solve where the puzzle was, where to go to find them all? Well, the gorilla's here. There's at least two of them on this island you can find, and you can uh, hunt them and complete the quest if you run around doing both the gator and the turtle and these guys. Yes, yes, I know. I feel bad killing all these guys, especially the monkey because, uh, or the gorilla because he or it, whatever you want to call it, call the gorilla, uh, tends to actually throw heal bananas sometimes at you. If you can decide which one's good and which one's uh, to avoid, they will actually end up healing you instead. Now there's usually two gorillas around here on this island. One tends to be like, there it is. They tend to be like on that side and this side, opposite sides of each other. Ah, dang it. Don't hide behind this flipping rock. I need to hunt you. Stop running. Ain't got dang there, got him. 
All right. As long as I don't do the stupid inventory sort thing, I don't have to deal with the stupid mask. There was one way that I managed to fix that, and I don't know how. But anyways, we're going to finish hunting up these two quests. Then we'll go hunt down the last couple of Thunder Guys. And then after that, we can do the Flintlock, the Stone Wall, the... Uh, hamburger and a couple other things are going to be a little bit of a pain and a little bit slow. So those will have to be dealt with in the next episode when I start actually building a type base. Otherwise, yeah. Going to eat some food. Perfect. For, for this quest or for this slate, you're going to want to invest all into swim speed. Like, swim and uh, stamina for swimming. That's going to be because that is one hell of a loop. And it's like, yeah. I feel bad having to kill all these guys. But we're at six, four more. So if I run down this place a little bit more, there's one. We can find a couple more. Then we can find the other guys. And then we can hunt down one last gorilla. And then we should be good to go. At least for these three quests. Hopefully this helps you guys out. And uh, all that fun stuff. One thing I did figure out is that you can get these turtles to spin like Beyblades. Oh, hello there. Yep. Dang it, I missed. Basically, if you can get them to flip over, you can get them to... Oh! Uh, spin. But the issue is getting them flipped over. That's the biggest issue. go the reason why i'm shooting them is because they have an insane amount of defense and yeah these guys don't seem to have that much Woo. It, it could be that i'm simply just not shooting them in the right place the flintlock revolver is going to take a total of 90 uh ammo to make all the weapons and then it's going to take about uh, 30 iron to make the ammo. And then after that, you're good to go. So in total, you need 30, 90, so 9, 10, 11, 12. You need 120 iron in order to complete that quest. Ah, oh, dang it. 45,000... That's the one thing that's nice about this, is if you can get them in the crit shots. Alright, there should be some more of these guys over here. Yes. Now, I don't know where exactly all the gator turtles are. I just know where some of them are. Perfect. Now we just need the gator, one more gator. And then we can hunt one more uh, gorilla. Then we'll go play with the Thunder Goblins. We'll have to figure out where the hell to find regular goblins and the archers. There we go. Now let's go hunt the gorilla. And that will be the end of this island. And then, which surprisingly, if you haven't done the relic quest yet... I re recommend collecting all the quests here first. That way when you come to do the relic quest here, you can get three of those quests done at the same time getting the relic quest, saving you quite a bit of time. That's the one advantage. Alright, Gorilla, where are you? I know you're around here. Oh, wrong side. I need to go this side. 
I might capture a gorilla just to see if I can use it for healing. And maybe get some bananas from it. I don't know if there's any like uh, dishes that require the banana. If there is, that would be kind of cool. But the problem is, is I think that the monkey is the only way to get your bananas. As far as I can tell. There might be other ways later on, but that's going to be dependent. Where the hell is that last gorilla? And here's that. Okay, so there should be one over here. Nope, there it is. Dang it. I need to get down a level. That thing has impressive range. Detection range. Where the hell did that flip nugget go? Oh. Really? This is another reason why I might grab them. Woo! There we go. That's three quests down. We'll grab the leather. Now we'll teleport. And then we'll hunt down the goblins. Whoop. Once we get the goblins done, we can turn in all these quests. Now, goblins are pretty easy. You just run all over the place and you'll eventually find them. The ones that were going to be hard to find was going to be the uh, the gator, the lonesome, and the, the gorilla. Not everybody's going to know that this is the location you need to go for all three. Now, I don't know if there's another location for the gators, but there are other locations for the lonesome. Like, you can find some lonesome turtles or forlorn turtles up in here. There's some around in there. I think there's some around in a couple of the other spots around here. But I have not been able to find the gators other than here. And I have not been able to find the gorillas other than here. All right, now we need to go back. We'll go to here. I'm sure we can find some goblins and uh, what is it, archers? I kind of wish they had a light that was like this bright that we could equip to us, like a light, sl uh, a light slot, like maybe here or put down here or somewhere put on here a light slot something that's not an accessory because the lights aren't they don't give any boosts wait what do they only stack in tents i feel like dang it i hate that not been able to figure out how to fix that so that doesn't happen other than don't press your middle bounce button we've got the lightning mono which is not what we're looking for we have what the hell are you oh there's skeleton sailors actually i think there's a quest for these guys Oh, you. Give me your hat. I want your hat. Give me, give me, give me, give me. No, I want your hat. Give me. Wait, what the hell? Why is. What? That was weird. Alright, so the those guys with the hats, I think, are the ones you need to hunt down. So it looks like if you're looking to hunt for the the pirates, you have to hunt at night. Oh, there might be some over here. Nope. Dang it. Alright, well, I may have to go back and 
re-hunt those guys that night. But there's one goblin archer. There's come on. Two. There is the swords, but I've already gotten the swords. Actually, I'm curious if they'll spawn at daytime. If they spawn at daytime, that's going to be great. If they only spawn at night, nah, that's going to suck. That's going to require quite a bit of farming. If I do end up getting the hat from them, then I'll let you guys know for that one there. I don't want to sit there and farm over and over and over again at night. Trying to get something that may not be got grabbable. Uh, I need to get a new mask soon. Oh, hello. I wouldn't mind getting their bow. I hear something. Oh, there it is. This is another thing that's annoying. My head is hitting this, literally. Like, I should be able to get that just by walking like that into it. Also. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I gotta throw money in here. Oh, nope. Guess not. Alrighty. Well... We need to try and figure out where the hell is some goblins. I think I potentially know where some are and they're in this little runway back in up in here somewhere. Maybe along here too. Which I should probably go this way and figure that out. But yeah, most of the goblin hunting is actually pretty easy. You're not going to really have an issue with that one. Especially if you've been, uh, if you grab the quest and you're just exploring everything now. Otherwise. Oh, there's an enemy somewhere near by my stamina started draining. That's one way you can tell if there's an enemy nearby, is if your stamina su starts draining, at least, well actually, no, depending on your settings. If you have settings set like me, then if an e if your stamina starts draining, then you have an enemy nearby. If it doesn't, then you have, you don't have any enemies. But, if you have your stamina on normal, you might... As you can see, my stamina is draining right now because enemy, enemy, enemy. Even deer count as an enemy. Which is the funny part. Oh. Okay, maybe not. I thought deer counted as an enemy too. Uh, so most likely through here is where I need to go. They'll get the goblins, then we can turn this in and call it good. Once we call it good, then I can be happy. I'll work on the hamburgers and all that other stuff off camera. Because whoo does that take some time. And I do mean it takes some time. At least in my personal opinion. It might not be that long for you guys. Eh, heck, you guys might expect it to be longer. Who knows? Uh, da -da. I need to get on the ground down here. Because I need to find those idiots. Oh, and while you're at it, try and collect red herbs. If you don't have uh, those medium planters set up, which will give you two herbs per time, uh, per planter, then you're going to end up, uh, yeah, be wasting a lot of time for that fox mask. Because you need quite a few. 
Oh, hey, look at that. We have the forlorn giant turtle. Exactly what I was talking about back over here. Oh, I'll take that. And I'll take that too. Hmm. Okay, so... They might be over... There's definitely some over here. I may have to warp over there, so we'll head up to the port tower up here. Warp tower. Uh, I wish you guys counted. Dang it. Alright. That's the one thing about this game. Stamina is the most important item in it. You can pretty much make up defense for your life. But stamina is, yeah. Alright, we're going to teleport over here and see if we can find the goblins. Once we get them, we're good to go. I'm pretty sure there's some goblins up there, but anyways... Uh, we have sword guides, we have archer, we have clubs, regular guys... We have goblin, regular goblins, which is not what I'm looking for. One way to kill these guys is to trick them into running into the water. Uh, we have an archer up there. I'm not looking for you. I'm looking for goblins. Regular goblins. Well, uh, regular go electric goblins. Ow. Heal. Oh yeah, one thing that's funny is here, this spot, when you start swimming, you'll actually swim into the water. Especially when you're speed sprinting like this. Alright. Why am I having such hard time finding goblins? I found them so easily on stream. There's the mono. Like, no joke, on stream, when I was streaming, I found them easily. Ooh, thunder thingies. I think these are important for later. I don't know, I think they might be for the restoration. Same for those purple things. I'm not having luck with finding the thunder guys. Why am I having such trouble? Ah. Ow. The only thing I can think of is maybe try and run around near that city again. But they should be around here. There's electric mono. We've got purple crystals. We've got a stupid wizard. I don't want to deal with you. Uh, why am I like no joke? I guess I should have paid attention where the hell I found those guys, rather than looking like an idiot trying to find them. Oh, hey, there's... Oh, no, that's an archer. Your sword mints. I don't care about any of you guys. I've already killed you guys. So, if you want to find archers and, uh, sword, this is the place to go. I mean, look at that. Archer and archer and swords. Four swordsmen. Ah, dang it. 
I do like playing dead because it's another way, a great way to heal. Alright, we're going to need to climb up. Oh, hey, finally. Hi, guys. I should have I should have came up here long before. Alrighty. So this is what if you have trouble finding goblins, just come back over to the dungeon over here. You'll find them. All you have to do is just sit there and wait, spawn camp them and just blast the hell out of them. And there you go. Yeah, you're dead. And come on. You're dead. I don't know why that happens. It's kind of annoying as hell. Labyrinth of Torrent. Now can we find... No, we're not looking for you. Or you. We need one more goblin, please. And then we can end this episode. I probably should have just stayed up there and spawn camp the hell out of those idiots. Because this guy's going to probably spawn swordmen around him instead. No? Okay. Well, hopefully by now, with this complete loop, they should have spawned back by now. I'm hoping. Nope. Mother flip nugget. Well, that is one area for them. question is, is there... Ooh! I think those might be what I'm looking for. So, yeah. If you come up here, you can kill the two up here. Then, I think... If I can hit those guys... Ugh, I hate that so much. Ooh, I hate that step forward because, yeah. Really? Double really? Why are they spawned in re rendered if I can't hit them? Fine. We're gonna kill this one and then we're gonna go double check those other guys. I appreciate it if they stop. So down here. Yep, okay. So you could come here for the Thunder Goblins too. And there's actually some... Looks like a breeding machine. Some machines, uh, vehicles you can break up. And uh, sword, some sword guys. So this is another potential spot to come to. We're gonna go. Whoop, we're gonna go hit the teleporter, and call it an end of this episode here. So, if you guys enjoyed, please like. If you didn't, well, I understand. Not much happened other than me they run around like an idiot for like the last twenty minutes trying to figure out where the hell goblins are. And if you want to see more of this series, make sure to check out the end screen credits as I will be doing more on this. Or at least until I run out of things to do, which means the next thing after this, realistically, is, well, to uh, build a base and well, finish up a couple quests. And if you want to see other games I play, check out my channel. I do play other games in the process. It just uh, depends on what there is and when. 
And if you want to be added on to the end screen credits like these people, make sure to publicly subscribe. After a certain period of time, I'll add you on. Otherwise, well, I don't know who you are and I sadly can't. Anyways, I'm going to try and run out the rest of this so that all everybody can be uh, credited. And then probably try and turn in these things since you already know where to find the rest of them. Anyways, I'll have to say bye-bye, and see you next time.